Hey guys, um, I know I haven't posted in like a year and this is not going to be a kind of video that I ever wanted to make, but I feel like I need to make it. Um, this video is going to be about the blue whale game or the blue whale challenge. Um, some of you guys might remember it from 2016. Some of you guys might be too young to remember it from 2016. Either way, this is terrifying. Um, to even think that it's back is absolutely terrifying. Um, I remember hearing about it on the news um, back in 2016. And I didn't believe it because it was in Russia and I'm in the US. I thought it was just something being like miscommunicated in the news. Like I didn't think anything of it. Until the trial started of Philip Bedekin. Maybe. Um, he was 21 years old. And he was what people were referring to as the Game Master. Now, how the Blue Whale Challenge would work is the Game Master would DM you on social media. And you would have to agree to play the game. And if you agreed to play the game, then every day for 50 days, there would be a new challenge. These challenges weren't like little like play ding dong ditch or go tell your boyfriend you slept with your best friend or something. No, these challenges were like peeves. Can you shut up? Not listening to me. Cool. Um, these challenges were like carving a five in your leg or cutting yourself five times uh, or 50 times, no, whatever the game master wanted. They, they could be as simple and harmless as waking up at 3 a.m. and watching the scariest movie that you can find or um, staying up all night. But no matter what or what order, the challenges went in, what, whichever one he chose to do. The last challenge was always the same. You had to kill yourself. The only story that I heard of was um, he was telling these two girls, um, these two girls uh, to go up to the tallest building in their city and jump off. Uh, Yulia, I'm sorry, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Konstanovia and Veronica Volkova, Volkova. Yulia and Veronica were two of the victims. Um, and from what I'm reading here and from what I've heard before, they went up to the tallest building in their city in Russia and jumped. They did it together. And I am not going to um, find their social medias again. But the last picture that was posted on both of their social medias was a picture of a blue whale. Um, how the game master will reach out to you is going to be through DMs. There's probably going to be not much on his profile. But his profile picture will be a blue whale. And if you refuse to do any of the challenges, he's going to ruin your life. Send you nude, send out your nudes, um, find any sensitive information that he can on you and release it to the public. Find your families, torture your families. Um, find your parents work and risk their careers even. The Game Master can do anything they want, and they will, as you can see from Philip here. Um, it's absolutely horrendous that this has happened, and now it's starting to make a comeback. In Russia alone, there have been, in, in 2016 and early 2017, 
there were 116 suicides that they thought were connected with the blue whale game. There's no way to know for sure, but they know for sure that Yulia and Veronica were connected to the blue whale game, but the others, they're not sure. It could have just been some poor kids who wanted to sadly end their lives or they could have been sucked into playing this deadly game. There's no way to survive the blue whale game. You will have to kill yourself in the end. It's so dark and so depressing and heartbreaking to think about that this has already happened once and now it's coming back. I've seen in the last couple of days, I think I've seen about 10 to 15 TikToks about it. And I felt like it was my duty to speak out since I do remember this so vividly. It's not something that I think should be lived through again. And I'm sure Yulia and Veronica's parents don't want to see other families have to go through the same thing they went through. It's not okay that someone's trying to bring this game back at all. And it's absolutely terrifying. So I wanted to make this video a little bit longer, but I just don't have really much more information that I could give out to you guys. But I do know one thing for sure. Don't answer DMs from people you don't know. Well, that's how we make friends nowadays. Don't answer DMs from someone who doesn't have a lot on their profiles or from someone who has a blue whale as their picture. You don't wanna go through this pain. I have lived through losing a friend to suicide. It wasn't because of the blue, the blue whale game, but it was suicide nonetheless. And trust me when I say you don't want your friends and your family to go through that pain. It's awful. Especially whenever it goes around on how someone has passed by suicide. Because then you end up seeing it in your head, even if you didn't see it. So don't put your parents or your friends or your family, any loved ones, through that pain by playing this stupid internet game. Because it will end your life. There's no way around that. So be kind to each other. Be safe. And don't play this game.